This afternoon, we had the opportunity to meet the person slated to become the next public health director for the city of Sioux Falls. As the city, the region, and the world continue to manage the COVID-19 pandemic, Kellan's Dan Santella introduces you to Dr. Charles Chima. In addition to being a medical doctor, Dr. Charles Chima has a master's degree in epidemiology and a doctorate in public health. He most recently worked at the University of Mississippi Medical Center. Today, he praised the work done by South Dakota's largest city with regard to COVID-19. I think the city has really been, you know, a great example of how you can work with the private sector to get things done without getting into unnecessary political debates, right, on, the, on both ends of the spectrum, but really focus on solutions that work for the community and that gets us ahead. He also touched on connecting people to vaccines and what comes next. We have to figure out ways to get a vaccine to people and, you know, and make it much easier for them besides having availability in the appointments. So that's going to be a priority. But once we get out of uh, pandemic mode, get out of the public health emergency, then we come back to, to the status quo. That, of course, had more than a few health challenges for the community at large. The status quo was one that had its own challenges to start with. So even before the pandemic that everyone knows about now, we had a lot of silent epidemics going on. One of the things that I really appreciated when I was interviewing with, uh, with Charles was he was really interested in uh, our parks department and our planning department uh, and housing and asking a lot of questions that a lot of times many people in the public don't connect to health. In Sioux Falls, Dan Centella, Kelloland News. Dr. Chima's appointment is pending the approval of the city council. That is set to happen tomorrow. Dan will have a much longer look at Dr. Chima's background and views on public service in next Sunday's Eye on Kelloland. Tonight